Hi my friends, this is Pastor Jenny and today is day 10, OMG, 10 of our 21 days of fasting. When this first started, whoa, and now we only have 11 more days to go, but remember what we said in prior meditation, we only worry one day at a time, just one day at a time. And so I'm on my way to the hospital. As, as some of you know, Lacey is now about to have her second procedure. And we are trusting God and thanking Him because He is good. And as we've been praying, we believe in automatic healing. But if He chooses to heal her through the procedure, through the work of doctors, then praise the Lord because medicine is good. Medicine is a blessing. So thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. But at any rate, I was I was praying to the Lord this morning. Lord, what do I talk about? What do I talk about? Day 10, day 10, day 10. And the Lord said, talk about the difference between hidden and overt dirt. And if that sounds a little scientific, not to worry, I'm about to explain it. So when we moved from the house where we need, where we used to live to the house where we've lived since that we purchased since October of 2018 something became really apparent. We have moved from a house that had um, rugs, really deep, fluffy rugs. Felt incredible when you walked on those rugs, right? When we moved to our new house, it was tile. Now we knew it was gonna be a lot cleaner because we know that tile lends itself to clean better, right? What we probably had not anticipated is that that was gonna require a lot more work and so we noticed that in the house where we were completely carpeted, we were able to allow a couple, two, three, four days before we vacuumed. And although we knew it was accumulating dirt, it was not apparent because the carpet would absorb it, right? But when we moved to this house with tiles, completely different story, the dirt, the debris that people bring when they walk from outside, very, very apparent all over. We discovered that it was a lot harder to maintain the house looking good. And as we speak, you have to sweep a lot more often. You have to vacuum a lot more often. And particularly, we have a beautiful bathroom. Our main bathroom is completely white. White walls, white counters, white floor. But when I first started cleaning it, I wasn't really getting the hang of it yet. So what would happen is I would clean everything. Everything was like perfect, put bleach, everything looked clean, white, adorable, the floors, everything. And then I was like, oh shoot, I forgot to, to shake the, the, the carpets. You know, the carpets that are in front of the, of the shower and the other one that's in front of the toilet. So I would shake them and all of a sudden my bathroom which until a few minutes later was completely clean and white was full of dirt again. And because it's, it's, a, it's a white floor, it would look even dirtier than it would look in any other type of floor. And what was that all about? Well, the carpets have done a very good job at hiding the dirt, the dust. But once I shook that carpet, it was all out and about. And all of a sudden, the dirt, would hide no more. Now, what does this have to do with fasting? Well, fasting in a lot of ways is similar to that shaking of the carpet. Fasting takes a lot of distractions from our lives. We don't have to spend as long wondering what to cook, what we're cooking. We don't spend a lot of time eating, you know, to calm our nerves or to entertain us. It's amazing when, when I'm fasting, there's a lot of things that I thought were gone and they come back and they resurface in my life. The floor that was white all of a sudden becomes dirty because there's no longer carpet to absorb the dirt. And so you will notice that addictions that you thought were defeated will come. Resentment that you thought was gone will come. You will discover yourself to be more impatient than ever. And there's a lot of areas in your life that are going to come to full focus when you're fasting. Now, it isn't enough 
to just fast, right? I mean, come on. How good would it be to shake those carpets or those rugs in my bathroom and then let them let the, the floor like that, right? No. The whole idea behind shaking those rugs was for whatever was hiding in there to come out and for me to be able to either vacuum it or mop it or sweep it or whatever. Clean it, right? So when the Lord allows our lives to be shaken, when we are fasting and when we are praying, His purpose is to clean it. His purpose is to bring us closer and narrower to that place where He wants us to be. His purpose is to be even more effective in cleaning and transforming us in that process of regeneration. See, the Bible says that one day when Jesus comes, in the blink of an eye, we will be perfect just as He is perfect. But that's not yet. And until He comes, we will continue to be in this process of regeneration, of constant transformation. Well, when we fast, that process is a tad easier for God because we don't have a lot of distractions and our flesh is really sad because we're not giving it what it really, really wants. And that helps us to be more focused on God. So we need to pray. Pray is the next step because if we only fast, but we don't spend time in the presence of God, then it's like we're shaking that carpet and all the dirt's coming out, but we're leaving it out there. No, 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 no. When we fast, we need to Make sure that we're also spending time in the presence of God. That he may clean all that dirt. All those addictions. All those chains that bind us. All those relationships that we need to maybe cut or that they need to be improved. I mean, we need to give God the opportunity to clean and to refresh and to disinfect what's there. So if you're fasting... You shook those carpets. Now, let's spend time in prayer so that the Lord can complete the complete purification and regeneration of our lives. And may He continue doing that beautiful work until such a day as Jesus, our Lord, will come back. And in the blink of an eye, we, His followers, will be transformed and will be just like He is. Be a 10, day 10 prayer and fasting don't give up stay strong we can do this and if you weaken and you have to have a little bit of bouillon a piece of fruit and some veggies you do that but come right at, back at it a lot of things happening right now in the spiritual realm and of course i need you to pray for me so that i can get another job and i need you to continue praying for Lisa so that she will her hand will be completely healed and of course i'm praying for each one of you because i love you so much God is so good, and I'm so glad that we can do this together, my beautiful family. Day 10 of 21 Days of Fasting. Let's stay strong. See you tomorrow. Bye.